Hello, this is Clausius, and today I wanted to go over a little bit about Coe's. Um, surprisingly, someone told me I have not gone over Coe's yet, and that actually surprised me, because that's one of the basic rules. Um, so, since I have it, I'm going to do it now. Uh, the Coe rule is a rule that says the board cannot look like it did last turn. So this shape right here is a Coe, because when black takes, white cannot take back immediately, because it'll look like it did last turn or two turns ago. So since it cannot look like it not look like the same as the previous turn or the previous two turns or whatever, um, the co rule is invented. Um, that's t so that way you don't get an infinite endless co or infinite endless take back, take back, take back, take back. Um, so they made this rule so that way you cannot just keep doing an endless variation and then just end up stopping the game because you can't do anything. Alright, so the way the code works is once black takes, white must make a code threat in order to take back. For instance, you play a move like this. This move would threaten to come down and capture these three stones. So this would be a code threat because it's threatening to do something and you wouldn't normally play this move because it's just no, pointless. Um, but in this case, when you play here, black responds. Now the board looks different, and now you can take the co back. So that's how co threats work. Um, so when you get in a situ, when you get in a co, you need to make a threat to, in order to take the co back. Now I'm gonna uh, touch up on that a little bit more. Now the co threat has to be threatening enough points to make it worth this whole corner. For instance, this co right here is threatening white to live in this entire corner and take away all of black's points. But if black wins the co, he kills white's corner. So this co you can say is worth about 30 or so points, maybe 40. So you need to be making threats that are worth that amount or puts, and if it's not worth that amount, then you need to be making a threat that at least does something. So that way, even if you lose the co, you won't be losing the game because you'll have profit elsewhere. For instance, this move. This move was probably about a 20 or 30 point move. But this corner is obviously worth more. So let's say black takes, and then you take yours. Now, although black got this corner, White's not exactly behind in the game because White still um, White still made a move that was worth enough points to keep the game in his favor. So when making a co-threat, keep track of the balance of the game. You don't want to put, make a threat that doesn't do anything. Like for instance, um, a threat like this would be just looking at these points, and this wouldn't be nearly big enough or code threat. Because as soon as you play this move, black will ignore. Now, can you say that you got enough compensation for that corner? Probably not. So make sure your code threats are worth enough, are big enough to be a threat and are worth the same amount as a corner or at least close. Now let's say there are no code threats on the board. Um, Let's say that no matter what you play, black is going to take this, take this co. Then, when you have that situation, since you can't win the co, you just want to take, you just want to get a free move somewhere, because as soon as you play a move, black will take this. So you want to try and, it'll be a co threat, but if black ignores it, then you want to at least get something out of it. Make sure that you get something out of this co. If you lose this co, make sure you can get something elsewhere. Same goes for both players. Both black and white need to get something elsewhere. Or maybe not elsewhere, but at least get something from that co. Otherwise, it's um, that it probably means you did very bad in the co if you get absolutely nothing out of it. So you should get a free move somewhere from a co. Most of the time. Um, not always, because there are always those exceptions, but um, that's how you fight a co, and that's how co-threats work. Um, 
I guess that's it. Thank you for watching, and until next time.